here we got it's the new Acer Predator Helios 300 Amazon Special. It's got the 10th Gen i7, the 2060, and the half terabyte SSD with 16 gigabytes of RAM. All for only $1,200 somehow. Pretty generic laptop box. Here inside the box, man, this thing's heavy. We have the much nicer Predator box. And then also, I believe it came with a little like, case sleeve type thing. Go ahead and look at it first. Yeah, it's a little padded sleeve to stick it in it's in your backpack or whatever. hefty packaging. Feel pretty confident about UPS throwing this around. Right here we got a nice little envelope with probably our manuals in it. Who needs those? And looks like the power brick. It also comes with a, that's nice, it came with a little cable and it's even got the screws if you want to put an extra hard drive in it. Acer is pretty serious about their check content stickers. This is, I think, the third one I've had to go through. This is really nice packaging. It is. It was like on its head. head on the doorstep. I'm pretty sure they weren't careful today. Yeah. Is. From what I can tell and what I've read, it's design-wise, it's almost identical to uh, the 2019. They just removed Predator from underneath the little Predator logo. It even comes with a little protective gloss sheet for the keyboard. All right, so I've had the laptop for about a day now. I've gotten a little bit familiar with it. It's 4th of July. 
you might hear some fireworks going off in the background. So I've got some stock footage from YouTube pulled. Now, my camera I'm using doesn't really do justice to this display. It definitely looks better than it's coming through on the camera. Down here I've got the 4-zone RGB going in wave mode. So on the left side, there's a uh, your audio jack, two USB jacks, Ethernet jack. The power connection is on the back, where it ideally should be. And then on the right side, you've got a solitary USB jack, USB type C, and HDMI out. There's a little battery symbol right here on the USB. C port. Supposedly, if you hook up a, a battery bank, you can charge the laptop. And, and I've experimented with that a little so far, and I haven't noticed anything that it's actually doing anything. Um, what I'll probably try next is letting the battery drain a little, turning the laptop off, then hooking up a battery pack to it while it's turned off, and see if when I turn it back on, after a little bit, if the percent, if the battery percentage goes up any. All right, here's the Predator Sense software that came installed with it. It's very easy to use, quick to figure out. You can set your different keyboard lighting effects. The home screen here it shows your CPU temperature. Uh, it's using integrated graphics right now, so there's no GPU temperature. And then I'm kind of curious where the it's getting this reading at, if it's from one of the exhaust ports or what, but a system temperature. And right now, just with the YouTube video going on in the background and the fans are idling extremely low, we can pump them up to max. They do get quite a bit noisy, but in my experience with Headphones on, it's not really noticeable. So I've been laptop shopping since about when COVID started, and I really wanted to get something with one of the Ryzen 4000 series chips, but I haven't seen anything yet that has really blown me away or been a great value. I mean, maybe in a couple months once there's some sales or the new uh, Ulitronics RP15 looks like it has a lot of potential, especially if you don't want something like this that screams gamer. But if you're looking for a laptop right now, I don't think you're going to find a better value, a better total package than this. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions you'd like to know about the laptop, just you can ask me in the comments below.